And now let's take a look at the thesaurus feature in Psych Articles. We can access the thesaurus by coming to the advanced search screen and just to the right of advanced search is command line and next to that is the source. Clicking that will should open a pop-up that is the thesaurus. We can also right click uh, in case your uh, pop-up blocker it blocks the uh, pop-up from opening. Uh, is if you don't know how to uh, allow a pop-up or you don't want to go through the hassle, you can always just do a right click or a, a long press and have it open in a separate browser tab and then just go to it. But here is the interface. We have the search field here where we can enter in the words we're looking for. We can also browse by clicking uh, alphabetically. It'll list all of the terms and entries so we can see them here. Uh, and then we can scroll through and look and see all the entries alphabetically under the letters here so we can see that it's only the first 50 and then we click to go to the next 50. Takes a little while, there we go. Here are the next 50 entries, etc. But most likely you'll wanna do a search, a searching for a particular term. Let's say we're looking for racial discrimination. We're gonna hit enter. And we do see that there is an entry, uh, just a single one. I'm gonna click on that. And then we can see here that it shows race and ethnic discrimination used for racial discrimination. So what that means is in, there, in, there isn't an actual entry for racial discrimination. Instead, you're to use the race and ethnic discrimination entry. So what are these? These are the subject headings that have been tagged in the various uh, articles in the psych article journals. Uh, they're basically like the hashtags, uh, like you used in Twitter or Instagram. Uh, they're the things that have been added to help search for uh, particular terms. And it, the benefit is, uh, remember that we can actually use multiple different words and expressions to uh, terms to describe a particular concept. Or an idea. So like if we had a glass of Coca-Cola, uh, somebody can look at that and, and describe it as Pepsi. They could describe it as root beer if they didn't know what was in it, or they can call it a soft drink, a soda, a beverage, a carbonated beverage, a uh, drink. There's a lot of different ways that could be used to describe it. And when we're searching, we could enter all those words in, uh, but that could become kind of tiresome and tedious and take a long time to think of all those words. Uh, instead, uh, we want to figure out the words that's, um, that are most likely to be used by the author or in the documents that we're looking for, but also uh, these tags by searching the subject headings. As we can see, uh, racial discrimination, race discrimination, uh, race and ethnic discrimination, all of those entries have been standardized on this subject term which entry in the in the thesaurus and in the articles as race and ethnic discrimination so this one entry will encompass all those different uh different variations and ways of expressing that concept and so by using this uh, you can save time and effort uh, because you choose this and it'll capture all of those things in theory uh, so using this interface, uh, the couple of things I want to point out. First, we're in the hierarchical view, which looks like an outline. So discrimination is at the top, and then underneath it, it one of the entries is social discrimination. And then underneath that, one of the entries is race and ethnic discrimination, etc. We can see here there's little caret symbols pointed up, and this one's pointed down, which indicates that there's more underneath it. So if we click that, we can drop down and see that there's racial disparities too. That's also an entry. That's there. <clears throat> so uh, we have this. We also have the relational view. So if we click on this, we can see uh, instead it's focused just on the race and ethnic discrimination entry. We don't see uh, stuff way up above or way below, but we see the immediate broader term, which is social discrimination, and the immediate narrower term underneath it, which is racial disparities. Um, and then 
of course, from here, we can click uh, here. This symbol indicates there are notes on the entry here. So ethnic discrimination, racial minority dis uh, group, minority group discrimination, racial discrimination. These are all terms that, uh, that race and ethnic discrimination can be used for. And then there's a history note that talks about the history of this particular entry. That can include things like when the previous term, what the previous term was, when it was changed and what it's been changed to now, et cetera. But also you see here entries for related terms. So we can see here there's affirmative action, civil rights, employment discrimination, ghettos, implicit bias, et cetera. So maybe you didn't know implicit bias is related. Um, but now that you do know, maybe it is a term that is better uh, and more aligned with what you're looking for. So maybe that's uh, the term that you should also explore or add to and search. But you can also see that there's prejudice, uh, racial and ethnic attitudes. So there might be these other terms that uh, you might not have come across easily or might have been necessary to read a number of articles uh, before you come across these terms, but you can easily and quickly find them here in the thesaurus because they're gathered together. Uh, you can search and then you could easily discover uh, these, the, the relationship between the terms. I'm going to click back to hierarchical view just so it's cleaned up a little bit. And then, so we could click here and by doing that, we're adding just this term race and ethnic discrimination. You can see down below, it says one term selected, uh, but you also see the explode in major, which is, you can also see the columns here. So what those are is the explode and major. Uh, explode will add not just this term itself, but it'll add any subsequent uh, narrower term underneath it. So it'll include race and ethnic discrimination, and it'll also include the racial disparities in it. Now, if there are multiple entries or multiple sub entries, uh, then the nice thing about explode is it'll include all of them. The difference between explode and major is uh, that major, instead of just being the entry itself, uh, major says that it's going to find those articles that this topic is a major discussion in. Because you can imagine that in an article that there might be multiple uh, topics, entries, and that this one might be discussed but may not be the main point of the article. By choosing major or just major, then you would just have uh, this entry as a major topic in the article you're looking for. Uh, if you want to cover all the ground, then you can click and have both explode and major and of course the entry itself. And then we're going to add it. We can add a couple of ways. We can leave it as or, but remember or is more, but and will be used to reduce. doesn't matter since it's just the one right now. So we're just going to add it to the research. And we see here main subject, exact, explode, discrimination, race and ethnic discrimination. And we'll do a search now since it's added it to the advanced search. And then we'll do a search. And so now we have all the results of using the race and ethnic discrimination entry in the thesaurus. The entry itself exploded and major. And we have 399 results. Uh, and now we can do the filtering. Uh, additionally, uh, to narrow down, we can do subject. We can do classification. We can do date. Uh, we can change the date, etc., cetera, uh, however we want. And we can click update to narrow it down. So we can do filtering to narrow down the results, to focus it a bit more, and then we can explore those entries to see uh, which ones uh, are most interesting, and then use those to then find other potential interesting and related and relevant results.